Welcome to the Principles of Self-Directed Learning and Student Motivation. This segment of the module will lead to an understanding of what is involved in developing a self-directed attitude to learning, as well as factors that influence one's motivation to learn. Taking theories and linking them to practice is an important step for students as they work their way to becoming health professionals. Students should be aware that different professional practice placements within and between disciplines can vary in their amount, timing, duration, and types of settings. Regardless of these differences, the professional practice setting includes the location, the clients, the equipment, the student, the preceptor, and the other members of the interprofessional team. This makes for a complex environment in which learning occurs for students. Each student is a unique individual with his or her own learning style, personal learning needs, and reaction to the context of learning in the particular practice setting. The approaches to learning may be linked to the developmental stage of the learner. The majority of students in developed countries in health professional programs are in the emerging adulthood stage of development. This may include individuals between the ages of 18 to 25 who do not have children, do not live in their own home, or do not have sufficient income to become fully independent. Emerging adults that choose to attend college or university are continuing to explore their identity and begin to shift the worldview of their family of origin to one that has been personally constructed through their own life experiences. However, some students may be more established with life experiences, including children, homes, mortgages, and other competing demands. Self-directedness in learning and motivation are concepts that have a strong relationship. Students are encouraged to assess their readiness to learn by completing the Learning Skills Assessment Tool from the University of Waterloo's Centre for Teaching Excellence website. An important step in being a self-directed learner is derived from the development of learning objectives. It is essential that the student and preceptor have a well-communicated understanding of course goals and personal learning goals. This helps to ensure the preceptor can guide or facilitate learning opportunities in the placement experience. The module Learning Objectives is a valuable resource for both students and preceptors, and you are encouraged to review this module. Once learning objectives are established and shared, both student and preceptor are ready to engage in the learning process. Students are encouraged to ensure they are aware of how they like to learn. There are three types of approaches to learning used by students. The surface approach focuses on memorization to meet the basic pass level. The deep approach involves understanding ideas, trying them in the real world, and going above and beyond the basic pass level. The strategic approach is a variation of the surface approach where the student focuses on what will be tested. Health professional practitioners need to understand the connections between ideas and how to apply these connections to new and emerging situations with clients. It is important for students to examine their approach and the motivation to learning must come first from within the student. Preceptors can facilitate a deep approach to learning through role modeling and coaching to discover answers to sticky practice situations. 
using a strengths approach and finding what a student does that is right helps to inspire the student. Patience and tolerance are valuable to students who are anxious to get things right. Keep the focus on the client. Finally, it is critical to evaluate learning. This requires self-evaluation and reflection on the part of the student, as well as regular formative feedback from the preceptor. This is where the strongest link to motivation is evident in the learning process, as students need affirmation for their achievements and a sense of how to continue to learn in areas that are more challenging. Preceptors can assist by creating a constructive learning environment where students feel comfortable or safe in seeking feedback, in asking questions, and trying to push themselves forward. Being available to students throughout the placement experience will encourage open communication and enhance the student's initiative in their learning. It is the ongoing day-to-day -day communication that will foster the incremental progress toward the achievement of learning goals. In their research with healthcare students, Baxter, Matic, and Kukin uncovered unique intentions, what students hope to achieve through their studies, and motivations. These are the reasons that underlie student involvement with learning. The best outcomes in professional practice are generally achieved by adopting a combination of deep and strategic learning. Let's tie this to our learning styles. Surface learning approaches are characterized by an intention to learn by rote and a motivation to get through assessments for fear of failure. Deep learning approaches to learning are characterized by an intention to understand the material being studied and a genuine interest in the topic. This student desires the ability to apply their knowledge to their practice. In strategic learning, the student chooses to focus on material that will be part of an assessment, but may fall short of deep understanding and application of knowledge. The authors report that the best outcomes in professional practice are generally achieved by adopting a combination of deep and strategic learning. The authors of this study summarized their findings into four factors for student intentions and motivations. The most important factor identified was linking theory and practice. The motivation came from working with clients, the influence of peers and professional role models. Students also valued academic learning that benefits practice. The next factor that emerged was coping with schoolwork and passing exams. Students were motivated by anxiety about failing exams or by feeling unprepared for professional practice. They worried about forgetting things if they weren't applied immediately which made the practice placement experiences very important to them. Strategic learning approaches were used to decide about what to learn and what to leave out. The third factor was related to career opportunities. Students sought information about career stability, status, prospects, and salary. This factor reflected motivation from very practical aspects of future careers and students trying to visualize themselves in their future professional roles. The last factor was achievement. Students' intention was to do well in both the academic and practice elements of their courses. Students were motivated by success and were competitive.